Cotter's Journal, February 2020. In the studio last week, we threw on the potter's wheel some apple baker bowls. A bowl so full of promise for cooking a cored apple that um, it could run for elective office. Well, I like to put things to the test. We will put it through the test and maybe try it putting it up against apple strudel too. Um, let's see what's going on in the studio today. And in the kitchen. Oh, another big flaw in the idea of this thing is the health um, bit of it. Yes, an apple, but not when they top it with um, coated in butter and sugar and top it with ice cream and whipped cream and caramel and chocolate sauce. I'm thinking of going another way. We're going to put that up against maybe apple strudel. I remember my great-grandmother doing this. So that brings a bit of history into it. She used to always peel the apple and take the skin off in one solid piece. You know, I wonder if that's repeatable. And then just make thin slices of this. Um, how many different... Um, <laughs> ideas of this thing can we break okay I went to Martha Stewart she was the only one that had anything serious to say about baking and cooking an apple that um, had some uh, grounds in reality it seems she took a melon baller and scooped out the top down to the seeds and a bit on the bottom and then just baked all those same ingredients in it However, with, um, without losing any of the juices, them all being retained in the apples. Okay, so there. All we need is a bowl. We don't even need an apple baker with a spike on. Okay, so the apple strudel. Looks we've got one core in there. Apple strudel, a bit of hon or, yeah, honey, that was lemon and sugar. Okay, I don't know how much. And I've got white and brown. Um, and we will give that a toss and sprinkle some more. I don't know how much, but we'll just do it until it looks right. Maybe a bit of lemon zest following the lemon you saw go in there earlier. Now here's something. If only I could sell these little plates. Maybe if I put a spike up through the middle of them, people would have bought them. Okay, give that a toss till we get the sugar all the way through. How about even this? Why can't they just get a handmade bowl to use at the table? You know, I could bake an apple in this bowl the Martha Stewart way. Um, I've been adding some cranberries to this too. Um, it can be done with cheese. It can be done with other fruits and vegetables. Um, whatever you want. <laughs> they shrunk! They shrunk! When I made them, I thought, oh, this is way too big for an apple. And um, now they're, yeah, a good size. They're, they're still a good size. Um, there's still a room for those people who say, this is uh, an apple, bake an apple, it's a healthy thing to eat. Then they put, what is it, uh, sugar and butter and nuts. And then they say, afterwards and then you can add ice cream and um, whipped cream and caramel topping so by the time they get done with all of that their healthy apple isn't that healthy in the end okay I am waxing the bottom of these and using a water-based wax four cups of flour. One of them is whole wheat pastry flour. This will be a lot better if you just use whole wheat or um, whole purpose. A pinch of salt and give it a whisk. Here is something everybody can use. A large bowl in the kitchen. A million and one uses. Okay, the fats. We've got a cup. It's half uh, vegetable oil, half melted butter or margarine. Um, eggs. We've got four of those. Okay, hey, how about this? Now this bowl has no spike in the center, but you can use it both to bake an apple or to beat eggs in. Okay, add that. Water, a cup. 
and we won't use it all because I'm not sure how much exactly we need. We will give this a stir and you know a baked apple or apple strudel. How difficult is this? Okay, a small bit of kneading here to finish this off. If you've worked with clay, <laughs> this might come easy to you. Okay, we will put this in a bag and let it rest in the ice box for an hour or I think once I left it in there for two days. And I've been placing them in the center of this banding wheel, giving them a spin and if they touch my hand somewhere, giving them a little push that way. Um, some people might use, okay, just like, um, okay, there's all different ways to cook apples. Um, some might use a griffin grip for this, which I tried when I visited Freddie Moretti's studio last fall. I noticed that, um, you know, it centers the bottom of the pot and not necessarily the top of the pot. The pot, handmade pot, isn't the same all the way around. Now there is an extension for it which um, I didn't use. And but um, this really doesn't take that long and when I'm doing the side um, the pot may be taller on one side and the other, so I try to follow the brush around and give it an even coat um, and not do it so um, very machine-like. Um, so kind of follow the contour of the pot. <coughs> and I'm going to take Simon Leach's workshop <laughs> later this spring, so Hmm, should I attempt that tap center thing? Well, I don't know that that's for me either. Not that I wouldn't attempt it then and there, but um, I don't know. Just setting it on there and giving it a spin white like, once like that till it touches my hand and giving it a push slightly that way seems to be so much quicker and easier than that tapping it all over the place that even the people that do the tap center seem to be tapping it all over the place. I'm not so sure though I even want to give these bowls a test. <laughs> we may bake something a lot better than a baked apple. In the last video where we made <laughs> the bowl, things really got hot. Um, thank you for <laughs> trying to make me behave myself a bit. I'm trying to do that here, but this idea is flawed on the baker bowl. I am getting so far now from doing that. I think we're just doing the strudel. Um, the best idea on the baker bowl was um, not using it at all <laughs> and baking an apple in a red oak regular bowl just hollowing out the apple like a bowl so all the juices stay in and the um, people making them um, most of the ones I've seen were flawed because the spike needs to be a broad pyramid um, so that the apple will fit over it and hold the juices in. Um, most of the cooks failed us too because very few of them even said that. In fact some of them were cutting a square core out of the apple um, who didn't have the proper knife. The people behind this original idea had a core that um, they were special go oh, their own special gadget both to bake it in and to core the apple um, their spike was a straight cylinder and their core a straight cylinder and the size of it looked hardly big enough even to core out an apple. So another flaw in the idea, how do you know how big the core is going to be? 
so flawed all the way around by anybody who's doing it. Now, if you decide to go the other way and do apple strudel, okay, any, any potter can do this. If you've kneaded clay, um, kneading dough is pretty much the same thing. If you've um, rolled a slab, yeah, it's just the same thing, rolling a slab of dough instead of clay. So, if you've done this in the pottery, it's not that big a leap to try it out in the kitchen. This can also be stretched by hand. Each one of these, this is the third one here, is a little bit different size. The dough is a little bit smaller since I didn't weigh it out. Um, I uh, often don't stick close to a recipe or directions. Well, the same thing in the pottery, which is why, yeah, <laughs> the pots don't always come out the same. So this one is going to be a little bit differently shaped than the first ones. I'll show you those when we put this on the tray. Um, this can be done paper, paper thin. I usually lose my patience at about this point here. Um. Okay, so glazing these stupid crazy apple bakers. Um, I like, um, you know, a bowl it seems to be natural for the decoration to follow around the bowl. Um, but it doesn't always have to. These have been bisqued so I just can use tongs and because I used a slip on there I only have to dip it in one glaze. So that's one way of keeping it simple and another way I want to make sure that people like these and buy them so I have to make sure most of them are blue um, okay I see a spot a little bit rough that I should have got earlier but while it's bisked it's still you can get it fairly easy okay so this also has the wavy line carved in there. This time I just have to dip it into my greeny blue, or I should say standards, greeny blue sea mist. And I found that if these are waxed, but if I put a little bit of water, a thin coat of water on the bottom, it um, sometimes <laughs> makes it easier to wipe off even the wax because it doesn't always separate from the wax that easy. Um, but it didn't do it that time. And you've got to lift that away so as not to give it a scratch. If, um, okay, sometimes if the wavy line has a little irregularity in it, I will dip it um, in one side in the, uh, the tanny beige and the other side in the sea mist. I don't like that. I think um, potters do it because it's an easy way out that, um, you know, I don't know that my shirt would look good if it was um, done that way. Um, but um, in this instance, if there's yeah, unevenness in the wavy, throws that off a little bit for the eye. And Okay, so there's... Uh, okay, and then these are the hardest ones. I glazed up the outside, and I want to glaze the inside, and then the outside blue. So you can do this easy way with just a single glaze or the hard way. I guess the same with the apples. We can just bake an apple in this bowl, or we can make a pie, or we can get dough and okay I didn't get that exactly right I should have gave that a spin the whole way around but I think we're okay and now I will get the rim and the outside and overlap the uh, snow on brick that's on the outside that's over a slip so that one will give us the most interest sometimes keeping it simple is good and sometimes okay just taking the time and making apple strudel is way better Here's something we could should get marketing beside behind. Everybody should be able to use a mixing bowl. Um, how come I can't sell more of these? 
Okay, so this is melted butter and vegetable oil. I substituted uh, margarine for the melted butter. And we'll cover this with that. And how many times, this is breadcrumbs and sugar, how many times people have asked me when they pick up a bowl, what is it for? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> How I'd even tell them on the baker bowl. So I've got them made now for the people who do know what they are and want them. I won't be uh, surprised when somebody says, do you make? Can you make? And, you know, I can't sell these little soap, spoon, soap plates, spoon plates, um, ring plates. Um, you can even put, okay, a little bit of lemon zest on them. And then how about this? We need the marketing behind it. You can do anything with this bowl. Okay, some people will just put a thick layer of apples down here and roll. But my family always did that and then a smattering of them um, the rest of the way up through. I will leave this blank so we get a couple rows of just the dough wrapped around at the end for the yeah okay the crunchy or crisp part and separate the bis again I yeah did put the cranberries in but this can be cherry strudel cheese um, um, you can put raisins nuts in this it can also be rolled, if it's rolled out to as big as a kitchen table, it's often done over a bed sheet in old Slovenian houses. And here, I will give this a stretch and a tuck under to seal the edges. And another flip, and then we'll give this the same thing down here and over here. And then a big stretch at the end. And you know what, that is a little thick. We will take a little bit of thickness off and give that the final turn. Okay. And it's sometimes just rolled right on the tray, off of the towel if you have it. Okay, let's see how things did today in the kiln and the oven. Okay, what came out of the kiln today? The simplest of the apple baker bowls. Okay, and I did this with my fingers. It looks less machine-like, but it showed up better when I did it with a commercial rib. I always like um, my green blended celadon with the um, slip over the slip. It was real genius. The um, orchard that I assume was a restaurant gift shop destination that um, came up with the marketing behind this, but I just can't get my head behind this American gimmicky gadget um, to test it out in the kitchen. I am ready though to take orders of up to 300 uh, pieces without thinking. Uh, more than that, then I'll, we'll have to see how long it'll take. Um, that makes a nice set with the layered. Um, medium cork on the right and sea mist on the left um, but uh, if I do anything more complicated I need to take notes so that I know what I did in the end to repeat it if I like it I, um, been playing the uh, polkas really loud remembering on the, with the strudel um, grandma and great grandma and it's just pushing me further from actually testing this bowl so um, before dessert we may uh, do some stuffed cabbage or Slovenian kibasi um, the shots are taking up every little odd space in the kiln like between this ring jug Okay, I will get back to that series real soon. I'd like to do more of the Mediterranean jugs. Okay, so I've been having fun with that. And I like this combination with the um, 
Sea mist on the inside, the slip on the outside, carved through, and the medium cork on the bottom. Um, that's the same combination here on a black clay body with the button medallions. Um, if you saw me do the Let's Do Some Shots video, that was with the black clay and the button, and this button was with a white clay body. So, from what I understand, the use of these, another Slovenian trait. And, okay, this was some reclaimed clay. Half of the black clay and half of my regular um, um, hazelnut that I just talked about in a video past. I think my first of the French, French jugs. Okay, let's now go see what came out of the oven today. A quarter Czech, quarter Slovenian. I just could not get my head around the idea of this gimmicky gadget. <laughs> it didn't even make it into the oven. And it really was no contest. Served with strawberries and yogurt. Family is lining up. And if there's any left, maybe some friends will get a sample. And we lived some memories from years past.